most doors that have closers on them will experience one of two primary issues. Either there's gonna be a problem getting a door to latch securely, or there's gonna be an issue with how hard it is to open that door. And you typically see a user of a door closer have to choose between those two problems in a setting like this one. So we've got a stairwell door here, and this is a fire rated door, so it has to latch. Let's just see how it's set up. So I've got this force gauge with me. Let's check to see how this door is working. This is a fire rated door, so it does have to latch. So I'm gonna open it up a little bit, and it looks like it is closing, which it's supposed to do. I've got my force gauge set on maximum, it's on peak. So it's gonna tell me what the maximum force rating is. Let's just see how much force it takes to open this door. Okay, so it looks like we're peaking around 11 pounds. That's, that's pretty heavy. Uh, some people may have some issues getting through this door. ADA actually recommends uh, five pounds uh, as your maximum opening force, so we're more than double. I'm gonna have one of our engineers, Scott, come in here. Scott is gonna help me out. Uh, we're gonna make some adjustments to this door closer, and let's see if we can get that opening force down. Thank you, Scott. So Scott has just made some adjustments to that closer to see if we get the opening force down. So let's just pull this force gauge. I've got it set on peak again. Let's see how much force it takes to open this door. All right. Looks like we're right at about 4.5, um, which is great. Uh, about five pounds is where you want to be for ADA. This is a fire door, so it, it does have a little bit of a higher force threshold, but generally speaking, the rest of the doors in your facility are going to be at five pounds or less. So I, I noticed that we're not latching here. Let me actually close this and let's see if, uh, let's see how this door's performing. Okay, so my door is now not latching. So we've just kind of illustrated two of the trade-offs that you'll typically see in a door like this in a stairwell where we've got positive pressure. There's quite a bit of air coming through this crack here and these trade-offs are a result of the technology that is in most of the closers in our industry today. It's rack and pinion technology. And the way that the closer works under the hood is I've got a spring, I've got a, I've got a pinion, and I've got a piston. And as I'm opening the door, I'm compressing that spring. So the more I open the door, the more tension or the more pushback there is on me as I, as I continue to open the door more. Uh, conversely, as I get closer and closer to latch, as that door is almost closed, that spring's almost fully extended. And as you can see here, now that we've adjusted the spring force so that it's easy to open, there's not, a, there's not enough energy left in that spring to get the door to close. It doesn't have to be this way though. Let's have Scott pull down uh, this rack and pinion closer. Let's put up a cam closer. All right, so Scott has just put up our cam action closer, made his adjustments. He's snapping the cover on. Let's just see how the door is performing for us. So our cam closer works quite a bit differently than a rack and pinion closer. There are actually two pistons inside the closer. There are two springs and then there's a cam. Looks like the door is latching securely. Let's just pull our force gauge out here, put it back on peak and uh, let's see what we're, let's see what we're pulling here. So I'm gonna, about six pounds. Now I'm gonna take it off a of peak just to show you what we're pulling here between three and four pounds after we get past that latch. So quite a bit easier to open this door. We did peak around six, six and a half, which again is acceptable for a fire door, much, much lighter open than we saw with that rack and pinion uh, door and closer. And we're getting this door latched pretty securely. So there's the benefit of the cam action closer right there, a real problem solver. We talked about the fact that these types of doors, these stair tower doors typically have those issues where you're either dealing with difficulties latching or you've just got a really heavy open. The cam closer does not have those two problems. You do not have to settle uh, picking between a hard open or a secure latch. Just use a cam closer, stair tower door is perfect.